Hi guys, I'm Shandor, welcome to my cinema. Today I'm watching the 1997 sci-fi movie Gattaca starring Ethan Hawke, Uma Thurman and Jude Law. I gotta tell you, I might be a little bit out of my comfort zone today because I'm not the biggest fan of sci-fi, but I heard great things about this movie, also this was recommended by a couple of viewers of this channel. So let's see what does Gattaca has in store for us. 3, 2, 1. And yes, my tooth did break, and yes, I do look like a drunken pirate. Deal with it. It's going to be fixed. Consider God's handiwork. Who can stray them what he hath made crooked? I don't know the answer to that. I not only think that we will temper with Mother Nature, I think Mother wants us too. Nope. That's a no. Pretty cool opening visuals. Really, really nice music. I have to say, music is beautiful so far. Now oh, someone's shaving. <laughs> okay. I was wondering about, you know, the opening visuals. Someone's just shaving. What the... It looks like a pee bag. Is that is that what it is? New fingerprints. This looks incredibly cool. Also framing. Framing. The not too distant future. Technology in the not too distant future looks like the past. A workstation so clean, Jerome. Mm -hmm. It's next to godliness. I reviewed your flight plan. Not one error in a million keystrokes. Phenomenal. It's right that someone like you is taking us to Titan. You leave in a week. You've got a substance test. All right, Ethan Hawke is going to Titan. Why is that important? I guess we shall see. Okay, so he seems to be a really meticulous guy. Also, there's something off about him. There's a beautiful piece of equipment there, Jerome. Have I ever told you that? I don't know why my folks didn't order one like that for me. Whoa. You can order a dick? <laughs> By the way, have I ever told you about my son? No, you haven't. Remind me to sometime. How many launches are there in a day? A dozen? Sometimes more. You're the only one who watches every one of them. If you're going to pretend like you don't care, don't look up. <laughs> Jerome Morrow, Navigator First Class, is about to embark on a one-year manned mission to Titan. 14th moon of Saturn. Ah, okay. Although for Jerome, selection was virtually guaranteed at birth. How was that? A genetic quotient second to none. No, there is truly nothing remarkable about the progress of Jerome Morrow. Except that I am not Jerome Morrow. Oh. Okay. That's intriguing. They used to say that a child conceived in love has a greater chance of happiness. Who knows? Ten fingers, ten toes. That's all that used to matter. Not now. Neurological condition, 60% probability. Manic depression, 42% probability. What? Attention deficit disorder, 89% probability. Holy crap. Heart disorder, 99% probability. What? Early fatal potential, life expectancy, 30.2 years. What the heck? Just from a freaking blood sample? From an early age, I came to think of Vincent. myself as others thought of me. Vincent. Chronically Vincent. ill. Every skinned knee and runny nose was treated as if it were life-threatening. Like most other parents of their day, they were determined that their next child would be brought into the world in what has become the natural way. You have specified hazel eyes, dark hair, and uh, fair... You can specify that. I have taken the liberty of eradicating any potentially prejudicial conditions. We were just wondering if, if it's good to just leave a few things to, to chance. You want to give your child the best possible start. Believe me, we have enough imperfection built in already. 
What? And keep in mind, this child is still you. Simply the best of you. So they're pretty much eradicating anything possibly bad. That's how my brother Anton from came a into the world. child, right? A son my father considered worthy of his Holy. Name. So natural selection is basically gone, right? Pretty much. Our favorite game was chicken. When our parents weren't watching, we used to swim as far out as we dared. It was about who would get scared and turn back first. Of course, it was always me. Anton was by far the stronger swimmer, and he had no excuse to fail. But for as long as I can remember, I have dreamed of going into space. The only way that you'll see the inside of a spaceship is if you were cleaning it. My father was right. Yeah, great. It was the last time we swam together out into the open sea until finally the impossible happened Good save! Good save! Anton died my brother was not as strong as he believed and I was not as weak it was the moment that made everything else possible interesting really interesting I wonder what happened because apparently, you know, they made Anton perfect, but apparently, perfection does not exist. I belong to a new underclass, no longer determined by social status or the color of your skin. Welcome to Gattaca, gentlemen. Oh. I was never more certain of how far away I was from my goal than when I was standing right beside it. Yeah, the music is still just absolutely incredible. But I'm wondering about the pee bags and his uh, fingerprints, right? So I'm guessing he's using someone else's genetics to be Jerome. Ain't that right? When you clean the glass, Vincent, don't clean it too well. What do you mean? You might get ideas. Yeah, but if the glass is clean, it'll be easier for you to see me when I'm on the other side of it. Huh. <laughs> Okay, he's ambitious. I like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you can only pass if your blood sample is valid. I made up my mind to resort to more extreme measures. I hope you're not wasting my time. No, I, I, I give 100%. That'll get you halfway there. For the genetically superior, Success is easier to attain, but it is by no means guaranteed. Mm -hmm. After all, there is no gene for fate. One man's loss is another man's gain. His credentials are impeccable. An expiration date you wouldn't believe. Expiration date on a human being. Better than 2020 in both eyes. In the heart of an ox, he could run through a wall. Uh, but... Uh huh. You could go anywhere with this guy's helix tucked under your arm. That's freaking interesting. You're a foreigner. They don't care where you were born, just how. Blood has no nationality. So began the process of becoming Jerome. It's contact lenses or a white cane. Besides, the color doesn't match. He's right. My eyes are prettier. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. Framing again. You want to go dancing? Yeah. It's silver. So? Jerome Morrow was never meant to be one step down on the podium. With all I had going for me, I was still second best. Do you really want to be in there? I don't want to be in there. I want to be up there. Call me Eugene. My middle name. If you're gonna be Jerome, you better start getting used to it. He has a point. Well, what's his benefit? Like, I'm guessing he gets some money out of this? Congratulations. Well, what about the interview? That was it. <laughs> Could you imagine living in a society where, you know, they test your pee and your blood? I got it. 
you're gonna be eligible for pretty much anything. That's freaking crazy. Each day I would dispose of as much loose skin, fingernails, and hair as possible mm -hmm. to limit how much of my invalid self I would leave in the valid. Now world. I got the opening. And that's why he, he's burning it. Customized urine pouches for the frequent substance tests. Fingertip blood sachets for security yeah. checks. And vials filled with other traces. Wow, that is freaking crazy. In the guise of Jerome Morrow, I have risen quickly through the ranks of Gattaca. Only one of the mission directors has ever come close to discovering my true identity. Strange to think he may have more success exposing me in death mm. than he ever did in life. That is interesting again. How did it happen? Oh, there's a strand of hair. How will this affect the mission? Oh, we're still going ahead as planned. End of the week? That's Sue. What about the mission director? He's dead. Are you serious? They found him in his office this morning, beaten so badly they had to check his name tag. I'm going up. Mm. The man was murdered. So oh, I didn't do it. I didn't say you did, but if the man was murdered, the place is going to be crawling with who? I'll take my chances with the J. Edgars over the mission director. Besides, what if they do find something? I'm going to be slightly out of their jurisdiction. We have to get drunk immediately. <laughs> yeah, that's a solution. Always. Seriously. What are you going to do? I'm going to finish this. Oh, one thing I noticed is that they're smoking. But how is it allowed in this society, in this world? You know, when you have all these superior genes and yet you're still smoking. Hmm, interesting. Oh, samples. Uh-oh. 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 Unauthorized specimen. Wow. That's an expression. To warrant a new measuring stick. Bodies with minds to match. Essential. As we push out further and further. Yeah, this is freaking crazy. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, it's his heart. Oh, is the guy gonna... I'll take care of that for you, Mr. Morrow. He doesn't recognize him? Seriously? Again, what a gorgeous freaking shot. They found an eyelash in the south wing. Does it have a name? Just some invalid. I had you sequenced. I read your profile. So? I'm sorry. Seems you're everything they say you are and more. You're engineered just like the rest of us? Not quite like the rest of you. Oh. An acceptable likelihood of heart failure. I think that's what the manual says. Well, if there's anything wrong with you, I can't see it from where I'm standing. That's a good line. If you don't believe me, here. Take it. Just a strand of air. If you're still interested, let me know. Why wouldn't he be? I <laughs> mean, that's right. I'm sorry, the wind caught it. Yep. Yeah, it's freaking interesting, you know, thinking about just how much your life would be determined, you know, if things were going this way in our society, right? I'm not saying that our society is great because it certainly isn't, but, you know. I mean, you can't you can't erase human imperfection no matter how much you want it we are imperfect i can't turn around without seeing my own face they'll recognize me they won't recognize me. they'll recognize me i don't recognize you i'm not jerome morrow i'm a murder suspect what are you doing that's more than a day's work 
Wait. We can't stay here. Eugene, they are going to find me. You still don't understand, do you? When they look at you, they don't see you anymore. They only see me. Huh. Yeah. He's right. I mean, you know, even the head of the cleaning team didn't recognize him. He's an invalid clever enough to go unregistered all these years. Do you think he's likely to lie down for us now? Well, what would you suggest, sir? Move the inquiry back to the scene. Draw a five-mile radius around Gattaca, sweep again. Random stops. You know, the crazy thing is that they don't even think about maybe it wasn't even the invalid who freaking killed the mission director. Because... Unless the movie reveals otherwise, you know, it wasn't him. Yeah, this movie is just freaking gorgeous, you know. Like, seriously, this is a beautiful looking movie. Very much impressed by the framing. All the freaking time. The music. Color grading. And also just the story itself, you know, and... The way this society is built he got so freaking lucky so lucky you know what the tension is slowly rising in this movie which I really really enjoy Yeah, this looks just absolutely gorgeous. Two samples, two days. Either the suspect went back to the scene of the crime to get a drink of water, and I don't know anybody that thirsty, or he still works there. Mm -hmm. I thought we checked all the service staff. The service staff, yes. I don't think he cleans up the place anymore. I have a feeling he might be there under false pretenses, playing somebody else's hand. Even if he got past their security system, he wouldn't have the mental faculty or the physical stamina? Maybe you're underestimating it. Maybe he is an imposter, and maybe the director found out about it. That could be his motive. I say we sample every employee within the parameters, intravenously. Wow. Two. Ow! God damn! Oh. The wrong one, sorry. Oh, we got uh, practice oh. Here, let me look at that. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Luckily, it looks as though we have enough. Well, if you need any more, you can always get it off his shoes. Yeah, and that's not gonna match. Tricky, tricky, tricky guy. You won't find a violent bone in my body. My apologies, director. We won't. Again, it's like, look at my profile. You won't find a violent bone in my body, but that's now human nature works, right? Start making around. Like guys, when I was born, I literally did not cry. You know. That's how you get your first breath in this world. I did not cry, you know? So I guess somebody, you know, spanked me on my little ass when I was born. And that's how I got my first breath in this freaking world, you know? Otherwise, probably I would have died, you know? Does that mean I'm an invalid? Yes. But you get my point, you know? You can't really exactly determine the fate of a person just by, you know, genetics and stuff like that. My opinion, at least. So... This movie raises some very, very interesting questions about how we judge people. And when you finally get your chance to leave, you find a reason to stay. <laughs> Hello everyone, nice to see you. I am your detective for the evening. Please don't leave the premises. Thought you wanted to dance. Excuse me, where are you going? Oh yeah, I know, just a minute. Uh-oh. Uh I did not expect this. Vincent. You're gonna tell? Don't say anything. Oh. Don't say anything. Okay. She knows. I guess. 
Ah. Isn't that the man from last night? He's nobody. You don't look well, Jerome. Why don't you go home? Ah. I think she was saving his ass. Yeah. You know what I find interesting? All of this technology and no cameras. You don't know who he is, do you, Irene? Investigators are coming by. I'm supposed to be sick. So you keep telling me. How long have I got? Not long. Wow. Wow. Is he gonna go up this... Really? Holy... Tension building again. Really, really good. And what's tragic about this is that, yeah, he's an imposter. I mean, Ethan Hawke, you know, but he's not a murderer. Or is he? But I don't think so. Alec, I'm here to see Jerome Morrow. Yes, it's me. Come on. Shots. Uh. Oh. Who are you? Uma Thurman looked surprised. And she seems disappointed and confused. So I guess she didn't know. She had her doubts or suspicions, I think. Yes. We have our man, sir. You have him? We have him in custody. I'll come right away. How? How the hell did you get up here? Oh, I can always walk. I've been faking it. Irene. 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 Don't touch me. Listen to me, Irene. I don't even know who you are. I'm the same person I was yesterday. My name is Vincent. All right, Vincent Anton Freeman, and I'm a faith birth or a degenerate, whatever you want to call it. You're a god child. God child. Congratulations, sir. You did it. His spit was found in the dead director's Whoa. Eye, an unaccounted for specimen. While I was busy obsessing about an eyelash, your instincts took us in the right direction. The invalid had nothing to do with this? No. Our friend here acted alone. This mission meant everything to mm -hmm. him, didn't it? Well, it makes sense. And since nothing can stop the launch now, he's being very, very cooperative. I think she likes us. <laughs> yeah, sure. Just give her a little bit of time. She'll get used to the idea. Now, you heard what he said. They have their man. It's over. No, it's not over. I have to meet him. Well, the good news is that he can only be charged with fraud, I think. Has it been so long you don't recognize your own brother? What? Are we brothers? Our parents both died thinking they'd outlived you. What? I committed no murder. You must be disappointed. You've committed fraud. Mm, true. It's over. Is that the only way you can succeed is to see me fail? I'm telling you. God, even you are going to tell me what I can and can't do now. In case you haven't noticed, I don't need any rescuing. But you did once. Mm. You want me to prove it to you? I'll prove it to you. I do. Oh, come on. Really? And now I'm thinking throughout all of this movie, did they, well, they were in the same space together, for sure, I remember that. But they didn't see each other at all. You want to know how I did it? This is how I did it, Anton. I never saved anything for the swim back. Hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, pure will, huh? Well, okay, some other things too, but yeah. So he saved his brother once again. And he's still alive. That's good. If you're still interested, let me know. <laughs> nice callback. Nice. Sorry. The wind took it. The wind caught it. <laughs> nice. I have your samples ready. I don't need any samples where I'm going. You might when you get back. True. Everything you need to last you two lifetimes. So Jerome will always be here when you need him. Where are you going? I'm traveling too. Nice. I got the better end of the deal. Did you? I only lent you my body. <laughs> You let me your dream. It's great, you know, that they ended up being on good terms. I mean, they have been on good terms, but that was a really nice moment, you know? I never did tell you about my son, did I? He's a big fan of yours. He wants to apply here. I could have gone up and back and nobody would have been the wiser. Unfortunately, my son's not all that they promised. Oh then who knows what he could do yes invalid for future reference right-handed men don't hold it with their left just one of those things Whoa! <laughs> he knew all along wow wow you don't miss your flight Vincent holy crap that's amazing. So he kept this secret all along because his son is also, you know, not quite up to the test, right? Hey, is he gonna offer himself? I mean, Jude Law. I think so. Ah, oh, what an edit. Maybe I'm not leaving. Maybe I'm going home. That's an incredible ending to this movie. This ending is just awesome. Well, guys, this was Gattaca. This was incredible. This truly was incredible. Not only was I very much taken by the visuals and the music for that matter, the music was absolutely incredible in this movie, but also just, you know, the, uh, I wouldn't even say moralistic questions that this movie asks, but uh, it's not even morals. It's just about, you know, what is the value of a human being? How do you value a human being? What is the basis of which you base your judgment upon a human being in terms of where you, you know? I mean, I don't think genetics is the answer. <laughs> That's just my opinion. But yeah, I mean, if you want to watch a really entertaining sci-fi with amazing visuals, some really great tension building, some good performances, actually, uh, and a really, really thought-provoking concept, this is a great choice. I mean, this is an amazing choice. I really don't have any complaints about this movie. I really enjoyed pretty much everything about it. Even the pacing. I mean, this wasn't a very eventful movie, but I don't know. It was very, very evenly paced, you know, and just, I don't know. I was engaged the whole time. So yeah, probably if I watched this movie a second time, I would be able to catch so much more. You know, I, th I feel like this movie has many, many little hidden gems 
both throughout this runtime, which most likely I wasn't able to catch, you know, for the first time. But hey, no complaints, like at all. This was a really, really entertaining watch. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching this movie together with me. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe and see you next time at the cinema. Bye.